Bertrand, Mary France, we had a great quarter in the Q3. When you look at it, uh, amazing sales performance, uh, great profit performance. We're continuing to generate leverage and margin progression. So from a financial operational performance, I think just continuing the amazing momentum we have in, in 2019. But I think equally important were the incredible innovations and, and medicines we're bringing forward uh, for patients. And I think a lot of that was happening in, in pharmaceuticals. Yeah, very exciting quarter for pharma. So we had another great quarter with Cosentix and Entresto. And we've just launched Beoview in the US for wet AMD patients. That's going really well. We're also getting ready to launch in a number of other countries. We're thrilled about the data readout of Ofatumumab. And actually, physicians are already saying that this potentially could change the way they are treating relapsing, remitting multiple sclerosis. So honestly, it's just great to be part of the team that's going to be delivering these medicines to patients. You know, it feels like pharma's firing on all cylinders, but I was also impressed with what we saw elsewhere in the organization. You look at Sandoz, where we strive to provide access with generic medicines to patients all around the world. Great growth, great performance, particularly uh, in Europe. You look at oncology, I mean, oncology is growing double digit with great performance from Kimraya, Ludothera, Kiskali, but also the new launch of Picray, which is really taking off in terms of getting this new medicine to breast cancer patients. And then lastly, of course, Zolgensma, our, our gene therapy for SMA, where we've expanded access across the United States. And we're progressing, rolling out Zolgensma around the world. So on all fronts, really getting medicines uh, to patients. I think the other part of the story in the quarter was going big on data and digital, one of our big five priorities. And how do you feel, Bertrand? I think it was a pretty impressive progress we had. Absolutely. We're definitely going big on, on data science and digital technology. I think this is one of the quarters when I saw a lot of the progress from the teams come together and supercharge our transformations. If you look internally, a few weeks ago, we had that unique moment where we That's got incredible. our top 300 leaders yeah. coming together and dedicating the entire event of two days to data and digital. And I saw commitments being made, and I certainly saw 300 powerful digital champions coming out of it. On externally, we also launched uh, an important collaboration with uh, Microsoft around That's AI, right. which had two sides to it. One is how do we really bring AI empowerment to as many of our associates as possible to get them the tools in their hands to demystify what AI is all about and make sure they get the insights from the wealth of data that we have. And on the other side, something we call AI exploration, mm -hmm. using AI to take on some of the most complex challenges that are out there. And a great example yeah. that we're taking on together uh, with Marie-France is how do we uh, rethink the way we can do smart dosing for patients suffering from wet macular degeneration on B of you? Exactly. And we know, you know, the challenge with these patients is that the burden of disease and burden of treatment is so high. They spend so much time in these centers. Mm -hmm. They have to wait around for hours to determine whether they're going to get treatment or not. So many of them drop off therapy. And we also know that once they drop off therapy, they'll continue to mm -hmm. lose their central vision and eventually go blind. So by working with Microsoft and looking at the OCT images, if we can better predict exactly when they need the treatment, it'll obviously be better for physicians, for their caregivers, and hopefully help patients stay on therapy. It's really a great example yeah. of the best of technology and the best of life science coming together to take on some of those challenges that really matter and that are probably close to home to all of us in mm -hmm. some ways. And equally important to me has been to see tens of thousands of our associates mm -hmm. picking up the tools that we've put at their disposal now to upskill themselves on data and digital. The progress we're making on the cultural side is really incredible. When you think about creating an inspired, curious, and unbossed organization, we wanted to focus this quarter on curiosity, really ensuring that our people have access to the best opportunities to learn and grow. I was really impressed to see that over 30,000 associates yeah. took advantage of our making Coursera and LinkedIn Learning available to everyone at the company. And that so many of those people were actually learning about data and digital. So, Look, I think another great quarter in a great 2019, thanks to, I think, our teams, right? I mean, they've really done Absolutely. an incredible job this year, and we look forward to finishing the year strong. Absolutely, yeah. yeah.